Schomburg a one-point advantage. And they're going to hold for the last shot. It'll be Parker working Bradley. Bradley, a hand in Parker's face. Parker at the buzzer. The third place Kona Cougars redemption run continues here tonight at home against the fifth place Schomburg Saxons. A couple of weeks ago, Conan got revenge at Fremd after a buzzer beater loss. And they have a chance to do deja vu with the Schomburg Saxons, who they lost to in week one. Eric O'Brien with you once again for HETV's Game of the Week. Good news, bad news first. Bad news. Very bad news. Chris Dulce went down at Fremd with an apparent ACL injury. Unfortunately, our fears were realized it was his right ACL. Good news, after speaking with Daniel Sotos, teammate and fellow senior, Chris Dulce had successful knee surgery on that right knee on Friday. And his dreams of playing college basketball are still very much alive as he's being recruited by many Division III programs. A relief to us all. But the question now tonight, who's going to step up in Dulce's place as Conan makes a run at the playoffs? We'll look for both those things. It's HETV's Game of the Week Holiday Edition. It's a close game, and it's cold outside. It's freezing. Negative 11 wind chill. Why would you go anywhere else? Come back for the second half. 22 to 21. Fremd on top of Schaumburg. Woodard calling for play number one. We'll see what that is. Good movement for three. Knocks it down. Vesper getting a few minutes. Thornton leaves the ball for Jacobs. Coming all the way to the other end, and a three ball goes for Thornton. Bradley stepping in front of that pass. And a nice finish under the rim. And Cleveland for three. Yes, sir. And we're tied. And a strong rebound for Ryan Kraske, and a strong finish for Ryan Kraske. Sotos on Jacobs, no look pass. Oh, what Hughes a pass. Hughes underneath to finish. Jimmy Sotos, who is this guy? Final 10 seconds, there's Williams. Baker with the rebound, loses the handle, Kim. Oh, yes. oh and he hits the three. Oh, what a dagger. Kim, oh. Peyton Kim may have just won this ball game. Big victory for first year head coach, Marty Manning and the Schaumburg Saxons. 3.40 and some change in the first quarter. Thornton, up and over, trying to clean it up was Hall, and he just missed doing so. The outside, they'll give him that shot all day long. Why not? Thornton, you don't want to give him that shot. He misses short, though. This is Chris Dulce. Excellent hustle play by Jason Shue, picking his pocket. Well, now we're going to get a conference. The basketball goes into the hallway and possibly to the cafeteria. So it'll be Conan's Dan ball. Daniel, so how about that? Daniel Sotos, the senior, ran to the cafeteria to go get the basketball. I, I love this. This is how far social media has come. Rick, can we get a shot of this? The Schomburg timeout bench has a student or someone tweeting, I'm assuming tweeting, or Instagramming live shots of their timeout. Either that or it's a Conan spy trying to get the play. I don't know. He wants to speed it up. Blocked by Hall. Running the floor, Hoffman Estates, Jacobs. Hoffman Estates within one again. Jimmy looking to take the shot, splitting two defenders to the basket. And good. And a 10-point lead for Conant going into the half, thanks in large part to Jimmy Soto. 11 points. Possession arrow is in favor of Fremd. One. 45 remaining in this ball game. Quillico, good anticipation inside, huh, on that defensive play. The six and seven Schaumburg Saxons are looking to end a two game losing streak against the 10 and three favorite in the Mid Suburban League West, the Fremd Vikings. And Schaumburg has a two point advantage. Benka 10 points for the Vikings, and Brendan Parker with 10 points for the Saxons. Schomburg with possession as well. So they can run some clock here. 
They call the timeout to draw up a play. Let's see what they have cooking. Woodard right up the middle. Parker with it right now. Keep an eye on him. That's Woodard. And finally, a wide open three is nailed. And now a five point advantage for Schaumburg. 49 to 44. Good time out by the Vikings. Just got a little bit more. I guess they were so worried about Brendan Parker going to the basket and defending him that they left Woodard wide open. No perimeter defense because he was wide open all by himself. There have been plenty, and I mean plenty, of wide open threes in this game. Oh, yeah. And it seems like nobody has come through. But the senior comes through in a huge way for the Saxons. A picture-perfect switch on that one. Squaring up directly in front of the key. And it almost seems like that was the strategy. Like they set him up for that one. Made him think they were going to go to Parker and go inside. And they were so worried about playing Parker and defending him that they left Woodard wide open from the outside. Woodard now with nine points on the evening. Oh. And a mental And Benka with the pass to Kraski, and Kraski, it bounces off his shoulder and goes out of bounds. He couldn't get the handle on it, and he won't even shake Benka's hand. Absolute. Out of frustration. Mental lapse and a disaster for Ryan Kraski. Looks for the basket before he hauled in the pass. Pivotal moment in the game. Schomburg up five, looking to add to it. And it appears a foul on Shoftel on Garrity. Number 14, Zach Shoftel. Pick for the Vikings, number four, Kyle Slewa. And now Fremd will go to the smaller lineup, probably lineup that can nail it from the outside right now. And also press. Because they're going to need the ball back here. Down by five, 44 to 49. Deep pass and a mistake. Kim being fouled, wave off the shot. And that uh, has to Charlie just Kodiko. turn Coach Marty Manning's stomach. For the Vikings, number 30. Throwing up a lob down the court when you're up by five. And all they have to do is hold the ball. That's all they had to do, and that's all they have to do is hold the ball, continue to move the ball. Him with a chance to make it a one possession game. Yeah, Schaumburg playing like they're down by five. What a desperation. And so a game that hadn't seen many timeouts is going to be a timeout parade now. And Schaumburg up by four, 49 to 45, with a minute and five seconds left in the fourth period here. Well, what did I tell you when we walked into this game, Dale? I said it doesn't look to be much of a matchup at all. Lo and behold, Schaumburg is winning oh, with yeah. 70 seconds left in the game. And that's why they play the games. I mean, it's all about matchups. It's all about strategy. It's all about intensity. And, and so many things can happen in a game of four quarters. And we see it here with the Saxons playing a superb game and potentially able to come out of here with a win. That would be big. 65 seconds left, rather. And huge free throw here for Kim. Well, they needed that. For the Vikings, number 44, Ryan Kraski. It's a one possession game. game. Three point game here, 49 46. Saxons up over the Vikings. Quillico coming up the court. They're having Full trouble. Court for press loses the handle. Here's Shostel. Sliwa wide open. Oh, Tag in. with a three. A tie.